What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a follow-up retro gameplay. Last time we covered Dragon's Lair, the original 1982. This time we're looking at the 1988 sequel, Dragon's Lair 2, Time Warp. To be honest with you, I didn't even know this game existed until very recently. So let's see how far we can get on this. So far it's identical as far as the uh, button layout. Well, you got your sword. Man, these quick time games. I know I'm missing stuff, but everything's going by so fast. Oh, and my first screw up. So far it looks just like the other one. Oh, I've got to start all the way back here. Yep, yeah, it's playing exactly like the very uh, first dragon or uh, dragon player, which is kind of nice. All right, try this again. Shit, I can't even talk. I've got to just focus on uh, focus on the gameplay here. All right, last life. We've got this. Yeah, I can't commentate. I have to just focus on hitting the buttons. Oh, see what happens when I talk. Oh, dang it. And that's Dragon Warrior, or, uh, Dragon's Lair Part 2. Wow. Blah, blah, blah. That was fun. And now let's see how this was intended to be played. I really enjoyed the first Dragon's Lair. Like I said, I never even knew this one existed, so it's kind of cool to uh, be able to review this one as well. I'm assuming this one also came out on the arcade in 1988. I am currently playing them on uh, PlayStation 4, which I thought it was very awesome that they had these actual arcade games, these retro arcade games. This one looks like it's a lot more linear than the original one. The original one looks like it was fit together in different sequences. Well, this one looks like it's uh, a little bit more verbatim. It also, it does look a little bit easier than the original Dragon's Lair. It's not quite as uh, chaotic with the button pushing. Ooh, there's our princess. Still looking smoking hot as ever. Mm -hmm. 
I'm starting to think everybody wants this princess because she's probably a porn star. She looks like she could have been one of those 1980s porn stars. I'm guessing this game would also drop easily another $20 to $30 worth of quarters trying to beat this game from beginning to end. With all the retries, having to memorize all the quick time events, I'm sure I could easily drop a $20 bill on this. Oh, we got some Alice in Wonderland references here. That's what this reminds me of. This animation is Alice in Wonderland animation. I don't know why I didn't see it earlier. That's what this reminds me of. And that's... I'm guessing this is probably the same animators that made Alice in Wonderland. I almost take it back. This one looks like it might almost be more difficult than the original. Wow, this one is definitely all over the place, for sure. Now it's starting to ri remind me a little bit of a Fantasia. Yeah, the first game was definitely focused. This one seems a lot less focused, a little more uh, LSD driven. Which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Ah! <laughs> 
Yeah, if you mess up any of those, you'd have to replay all this, so that's kind of crazy. This would definitely be another $30 to $50 game, at least for me, probably. Trying to memorize it, memorize all the different... Oh, this might be the finale. The star part princess from getting married to this horrible wit. I don't know what that is. Evil sorcerer. Did we do it? We might have done it. Oh, I think we did it. Nice. We saved the princess again for the second time. And it's always got to end with a kiss. We're going to end the video here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a like down below. Leave a recommendation if there's a game you want me to check out. I would be more than happy to do it. Other than that, I will see you all later. So a side note, if Daphne's his girlfriend, who's that old hag that he was hanging out with? Congratulations, we are a winner.